Hi. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this new every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, Meta revealed a prototype version of its haptic gloves, designed to recreate physical sensations like holding a solid object in the metaverse. Haptic technology will take the virtual reality experience to a whole new level by merging the physical and the digital world. At a simplified level, Meta's Haptics prototype is a glove lined with around 15 ridged and inflatable plastic pads known as actuators. The pads are arranged to fit along the wearer's palm, the underside of their fingers, and their fingertips. The glove also acts as a VR controller. The back features small white markers that let cameras track how the fingers move through space, and it's got internal sensors that capture how the wearer's fingers are bending. News source, The Verge, Magic Leap has partnered with Geopogo. The partnership will enable Geopogo's software on Magic Leap's R headset platform to bring architectural designs to life. Geopogo builds 3D design software that allows architects and designers to design and develop the construction process in VR or R, saving companies both time and cost. Clients can access different projects remotely in VR, such as a city's construction project. News source, Organics, Active Look announced its new Next technology platform. The company aims to develop R solutions for the sports industry. Active Look Next helps companies develop lightweight connected eyewear with an integrated heads-up display that shows real-time data of sports athletes such as speed, heart rate, and direction. With the combination of hardware, software, and API, the company's invisible R microdisplay technology can be integrated with eyeglasses without any field of view obstruction. But when will all the glasses stop looking like goggles? Someone needs a fashion overhaul. News source, Organics, KuCoin Labs launched a $100 million fund to invest in metaverse projects. The fresh funding will be used to invest in GameFi, non-fungible tokens, and decentralized infrastructure projects. They have launched in an effort to accelerate the development of the metaverse and any projects that will contribute to its infrastructure. KuCoin Labs is designed to support and incubate early-stage startups developing the virtual world. News source, Coindesk, Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney plans to build a unified game store that works with all platforms in the metaverse. Epic has hired developers and service providers to make this vision a reality. A one-stop shop to buy all software, made available on all devices and all platforms, especially the metaverse. Sweeney cited Epic's lawsuit involving Apple over monopolistic practices. Apple must be stopped, he says. News source, PC Gamer. And that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion. Go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.